Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Um, today I am going to show you the difference between um, a PEX Upinor fitting, that's spelled U P O N O R. I'll put a, a link below to their website, and a, uh, a Shark Bite uh, stainless steel crimp type fitting. I have both systems, but uh, I decided to go with the Upinor uh, fitting system for the trailer. I I went ahead and I ripped out all of the old plumbing that was in the trailer and I went ahead and put in brand new uh, PEX. Now the Upinor uh, must have the PEX type A um, and the, the regular PEX will call it that that you see in uh, the big box home repair stores. Um, is actually PEX B. It's not as flexible um, and it's not as opaque uh, but you can use PEX A for the crimp type or the type I'm going to show you, the expansion type. Um, so there's a few benefits for using the expansion type. Um, PEX is all good regardless of what system you go with. Um, I wanted to try this system out for a couple of reasons and you can read the benefits on their website. I'm not going to make this a long drawn out sales pitch for them. but uh, And I bought all of this stuff with my own money. Uh, the tool and the fittings and, and everything. So uh, let's get in there and I'll show you how to make both connections. Alright, so what we have here is a short little piece of pipe and uh, and another short little piece of pipe and um, this is again this is PEX A or Propex or Upinor. Um, I have not seen this available in the the big box stores um, I, I got it from my local um, plumbing supply house um, a Ferguson to be exact uh, but it's it's widely available uh, up north more than it is down down here where we are but um, I really like it. It's, this short piece is not going to be very flexible but it's much more flexible in longer pieces than the, um, than the PEX-B. But anyway, so you can see this is a, uh, a, a crimp type fitting and uh, this pipe fits on the outside of it without any... Um, you can see how it just, it just slides right on there um, without expanding it. So uh, and then this this is an Upinor fitting. So one of the big the big key benefits you can physically see the size of it is is much larger. Um, so when you try to put the piece of pipe on there, it doesn't it doesn't go. Now it looks like it's too big, and it is, but you have to expand it. So that's where this ring comes in. It's got a little shoulder on this side that keeps it from sliding all the way down the pipe, and it slides. slides right on there until it stops and you'll see it it just it can't be pushed anymore so what you do is you use this uh, Milwaukee M12 expansion tool again like I said I, I purchased all this stuff and um, I went with this system like I said check out the website but here's how you do it so you hold the pipe on there and kinda get it started on there and then you expand it like that and just kind of push it on there while it's going. So let it get one last quick click and then you have to quickly push the fitting in there. And you let it sit for just a couple of seconds and <clears throat> that's not coming out. That's in there and done. Um, so uh, the and the longer the fitting sits the the tighter the the compression gets so it's the only PEX fitting that gets tighter over time where these you are actually working against the natural um, form of the PEX by taking this crimp ring and placing it around the fitting and you you have to give it a, a certain spacing a quarter inch or an eighth, a qu eighth to a quarter of an inch I'm not sure what that is in metric, I'm sorry, um, but I, nowhere on my packaging does it say metric 
measurements so uh, I could probably look it up maybe I'll put that down in the description but anyways you hold it down about that much and then you take your this is a hand crimper that they sell and um, you put that over the over the crimp ring like that and then you you position the ring and then you crimp it so this little handle here you squeeze a little bit to kind of lock it into place and then it folds out of the way and then you have to use two hands to finish crimping it and you wait till it releases it'll you'll hear it click and then release so you can see the fitting itself uh, it, it will work and they do work and that's what the the crimp looks like after you get done it's kind of uh, smashed around there and then you can if I don't know if you can really kind of see that but the uh, the pex itself is um, is kind of kind of bulging a little bit right there uh, so you know again like I said it's kind of working against itself by pressing the pex into the fitting instead of allowing it to shrink down onto it like this so anyways I just wanted to show you guys the difference um, like I said I have both systems and I like the Upinor better personally um, I, it goes faster for me now other people might might choose this style which is fine I'm not I'm not saying one is better than the other I'm just saying I like this one more alright guys well thanks for watching um, we really appreciate all the views and um, I hope you got some useful information out of that and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>